It all started last year, on the 14th night of March, the night of my parents' 20th wedding anniversary. It was a wonderful sunny day, if memory serves, surprisingly warm for the beginning of spring. The beautiful weather was perfect for the atmosphere of the day. Being married for 20 years is obviously a momentous occasion, so my parents had booked a table at our favorite Italian restaurant. Of course, this was a formal occasion, so I had my best dress on. It was 5.33, and I was just straightening my tie when my phone went off. I had received a message. That's strange, I had thought. That never happens. I checked the message. It was from my mom. It was quite a jumble of numbers and letters, but through the vocabulary stew, I could make out one legible phrase. Please help me. It should go without saying that this worried me greatly, so I immediately replied, Are you okay? And just as instantly, I got another text which read, Oops! pocket text. I sighed with all the relief I had and continued to prepare myself. A few minutes later, I received yet another message, this time from my dad. I checked the text, and once again it was a massive mixture of letters and numbers, with the phrase, please help me, concealed within. Creepy though this was, my dad was always a joker. So, I assumed that he was just joking around. Until I was sent another text saying, Oops, pocket text. Now this sparked panic. Pure, unmistakable panic. Exactly half a minute passed when I received the exact same two messages from my sister. This could not be coincidental. It just couldn't. In a state of sheer anxiety, I started to run to the restaurant. I made it about a quarter of the way before I was stopped by a police officer. Main roads closed, he said. Huge car crash. This was the exact moment I realized just what had happened. I demanded to see the wreckage. A request which I was surprised was allowed. When I got there... It wasn't the remnants of the car that caught my eye, nor the flames billowing from the destroyed vehicle. No. I was horrified to see the lifeless corpses of my mother, father, and sister. I asked for the estimated time of their deaths. All three of them were killed instantly by the collision at 5.32. A minute before the very first text. <laughs>